Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion for Monday, the 18th of January, 2021. The short word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. The series title for this week's short word for today is The Power of Affirmation, Part 2 of 7, written by Jefferson Otombara Ingi. The short word for today's quotation for this week is, God said, let there be light. The King James Version of the Holy Bible is where all scriptural quotations are taken from unless otherwise stated. The short word for today's Bible verse for this week is taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Now I quote the Bible verse. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. End of the Bible reading. The Lord said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Here you can see God use the power of affirmation to call those things that we are not existing in the earth, but existing in his mind into manifestation. The words that you speak are spirit and life. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You must be careful of the words that proceed out of your mouth. The reason why you are struggling and things appear not to be working for you are because you said so. Be careful with your words. They can build or break you. Choose your words carefully. They reveal your inner character. You can't litter negativity everywhere and then wonder why you've got a trashy life. You can change your world by changing your world. By now, you should know your powers. There is power in every spoken word. Your word can transform your future and it can also turn it upside down. Your word is incredibly powerful. You can create anything you want with your word. God is a God of positive affirmation. He promised you that his words will not fall to the ground. He will stand behind his word to perform it. In Capernaum, a Roman centurion wants Jesus to come and heal his servant. But on second thought, he preferred Jesus should rather speak the word and his servant will be healed. The centurion understood the authority in the spoken word. Jesus was amazed. He had never seen faith like this in all of Israel. Here is your affirmation for today. Please read after me. I have the power to create change with my words. I have the power to create change with my words. I am the only one who can determine my self-worth. I am the only one who can determine my self-worth, and I am worthy of my dreams, and I am worthy of my dreams. We have reached the end of part two of the Sure Word audio devotion series titled The Power of Affirmation. You are ready to declare God's word for your life today. It is a part of the Sure Word capsule by Jefferson Otobara Ingbi. Make your day unique and filled with positive expectations as you repeat every word that I read and be blessed. Read after me. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I choose to be at peace with myself. Today, I choose to be at peace with myself. Today, 
I choose to see all difficulties as opportunities to make me stronger. Today, I choose to see all difficulties as opportunities to make me stronger. Today, I am thankful for all I have. Today, I am thankful for all I have. Today, I welcome abundance into my life. Today, I welcome abundance into my life. Today, I intend that my actions have a positive impact. Today, I intend that my actions have a positive impact. Today, I release all anger, fear, and guilt completely. Today, I release all anger, fear, and guilt completely. Today, I choose to eat food that contributes to my health and well-being. Today, I choose to eat food that contributes to my health and well-being. Today, I release my fear of being wrong and I express my creativity freely. Today, I release my fear of being wrong and I express my creativity freely. Today, I choose to look at the positive qualities of every person I meet. Today, I choose to look at the positive qualities of every person I meet. Today, I am willing to speak less and listen more. Today, I am willing to speak less and listen more. Today, I approve of myself fully and I love the person I am. Today, I approve of myself fully and I love the person I am. Today, I feel vibrant and full of energy. Today, I feel vibrant and full of energy. Today, I am grateful for being alive. Today, I am grateful for being alive. Today, I feel confident and able to deal with anything calmly. Today, I feel confident and able to deal with anything calmly. Today, I choose to enjoy every experience that comes along. Today, I choose to enjoy every experience that comes along. Today, I accomplish any task with ease. Today, I accomplish any task with ease. Today, I choose to care for myself with deep love. Amen. Today, I choose to care for myself with deep love. Amen. You have reached the end of the declaration of God's creative power. The links to our various social media channels are in the description of this audio and video recording. Subscribe to the Sure Word for today's daily devotion and visit the Sure Word capsule for more affirmation. Click, subscribe, follow, like, and share. Speak about it and tweet it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell button for notifications. Thanks and God bless you.